Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, we are gonna do, sorry, I just, I jumped into this. Um, I just did, I did Taurus, so I did Earth, I did Libra, which is air. I just did Scorpio, which is water. So now we're gonna do fire. Um, just do my Sagis. Venus and Sag. Venus and Sag. Venus and Sag. Venus and Sag. Venus and my little hot tamales. My hot tamales. You got the emperor. It's funny because initially I wanted to do Leo. And then I was like, nah, too much connection to what I was feeling. So I was like, let's do Aries. And I was like, nope. I want to do my Sagis. So this is either you taking the lead when it comes to something. Or you're actually in Aries energy. There is Sag too, Queen of Fire. Whew, there's attraction here. You guys are like in, this is like beast mode whatever that's referring to you got strength at the bottom of the deck so uh, this is tricky 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 right off the bat emperor queen of fire high priestess strength and the strengths card's looking right at the high priestess saying you better use your damn intuition when it comes to whatever this is uh, to me it's this feminine energy right now, my saggy energy, I feel like, <clears throat> I don't know if there's something hidden, but I feel like you might have lack of compassion towards this energy, Leo energy, I mean Aries energy, you might be with the Leo too with strength because the emperor, you might be linked to Leo because I was, I was really was going to say Leo. But I'm telling you, see, that I, you guys are entwined right now because that's a lion, even though it's Aries energy. But the lion represents Leo. And you have this feminine energy, you know, and it's like, it's the feminine that needs the strength to, to deal with this emperor. I don't know if there's a secret, you're not telling somebody something, but to me, it's like, you better use your intuition. But there's definitely compassion that's needed. There, there was something toxic that was here that at some point for damn sure, okay? So Venus and Sagittarius, please. Venus and Sag. Let me just poke in a different deck. It's like, to me, it's like, I don't know if something's moving forward here or if we're at a standstill. <clears throat> that's way too many. Venus and Sag, please. Reconciliation. It's like someone's stirring up these these feelings again. All right, it's like hot to hot conversation, past life relationship. One more for Venus and Sag. Okay, or two new love and healing family issues. This is this is whoa. This is my last one for the day. You guys just took all my energy. Or you're about to. You're about to. It's not your fault. <laughs> um, this, this woman, if you're a Sag feminine, you know exactly who I'm referencing right now. You, it's, you've had a past life with them. You know. The karma between you guys is rough. Rough. It is ups and downs. Do you love me? Do you love me not? You know, it looks like engagement at the bottom of the deck. If you ask me, it's like if you guys can figure out whatever this is now until May 20th, because that's how the energy is going to. It, it looks like it. whatever you guys can have can escalate quick, okay? But like, 
we can't forget that there was something toxic, you know, is that toxicity gone? Is the addiction gone? What, whatever it's linked to. Um, you are dealing with somebody who is like um, stuck in tradition. Very, someone's very traditional. Um, but you know who this is. It's like it's like it's like you want to try to heal the situation, right? But like, I think you're tired. I think you're tired of of whatever you're in. It, it, it's something like that, okay? Like, I think I see at one point that had to have been some type of like turmoil. All right, tell me about. <clears throat> ooh, take that from her. That's fine. I don't think so. Tell me about the queen of the queen of fire. Justice, yeah, reverse. Something was unjustified here, and very comic too. And whatever's comic has not been addressed, but it's going to be. I do see love, a lot of love. Okay, a lot of love. I don't know who sings that song. Um, tell me about the emperor real quick. <clears throat> It's like somebody wants a reconciliation, or it looks like there's one here, but you need to have a serious conversation. Like, stuff needs to be addressed. Like, whatever went down between the two of you was toxic and, and unjustified. And then you have the Ace of Wands, and it's like, it's like lack of passion, because it was, it was reversed. But, like, the connection's there, but you lost, you lost the, the, the passion. The adventure. You know, so it's like something, something went down that was most definitely unjustified. But you're aware of this. Tell me about the high priestess. Something's about to come out. Like, I feel like when you have a conversation with this person, it's my Sagis we require, it's going to require strength. Like, this is, this is quite the connection. And it's like, you feel like they stabbed you in the back. It's almost like you're not feeling this energy anymore, but like it's here, it's present, it's quite the connection. Tell me about strength and the fact that, I mean, this needs to be addressed. This is unavoidable, unavoidable karma, all right? And it's like, see, it's like the feminine right now. It's like you're not necessarily standing your ground. I think it's because you're not talking to them. You might have met somebody new and turned your back or you're just busy with your friends, but like... It's like you don't want to stand your ground. Like it's like you don't even want to maybe even have a conversation. It's something like that. It's it's like no, you, you it was unjustified. You stabbed me in the back. Like I don't need to explain to you why I continuously feel like this. Like there's lack of passion, but like it, it, there's love. Okay, so it's like either you or this person want a reconciliation or deep down you really do. It's going to take a conversation. And it's going to require a lot of strength to have this conversation. All right. And it's like, at one point, this this emperor, which is the king of coin, which is the happy energy is reversed, definitely was not putting energy and effort into this. But it's like, now they want this. They want the family back. Well, they know that's what they can have with the two of cups there. You know what I mean? Tell me about a hot to hot. So it looks like somebody doesn't even like, so now the emperor is reversed. So it's like, you're dealing with somebody very traditional, stubborn, irritated, frustrated, this this masculine energy is because feminine energy is very frustrated. I think it's because the feminine's not having it. And this is part of your karma. So if this speaks to my women directly, I'm telling you, you have to address this whether you want to or not. And it's the Ten of Pence reverse in the past life. So it's like you weren't able, it's like you probably got to that point again where it's like you weren't able to confront it or, or make it work. It was nothing solid. And it's like, you're in the same situation. It's not solid. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to keep justifying yourself. Like, what happened? You feel stabbed in the back. You know what I'm saying? Family and not family. If you got kids together or not, it is, that connection's here. And karma needs to be addressed. And it looks like the feminine wants nothing to do with it. Tell me about healing family issues. Because it's like, I think maybe at one point you did. Or you know that you have to because it's kids involved. Page of Swords. So it's like, I think you're watching what this person does, how they're acting on social media, what they're telling their friends. Like, you're watching their actions, not what they're telling you or what you're hearing. 
You're watching. You're watching it. You're smart. Tell me about this new person. To me, it's this new person. Or is this person claiming that they're brand new? They feel brand new. And it's like, you know, you're feeling this towards them again. But you're like, this is all past. And it's, and it's like nothing. It didn't get hashed out with you. Ton of cups. It's You either met somebody new and you're not giving somebody old a time of day. And you're not. But here's a deal. It needs to be addressed. And the ace of coin flips. Whatever this is needs to be addressed. Whether there's a new person in your life or not. Because you need to shut this door. If you're a feminine Saggy. Okay. And. Or this is that same person coming in like fresh new energy. And, and give it a shot. I just feel like it's going to require strength. A conversation. It's going to be very emotional. Lots of crying. Tell me about this justice reverse. So that's, to me, that's, that's karma and whatever, something flipped, but I don't want it. Um, something wasn't, the door never shut properly. And this is why Mercury is back too. So it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like, you're not having it. The king of wands, somebody who didn't take action. It's like now, it's like my feminine's holding on to something, whether it's petty or not. It's like, you're like, no, you stabbed me in the back. No, X, Y, Z. But it's like, it's, it's, it's way bigger than you think. And, Everyone's hat got broken here. But it's like, it might be too fresh for you to realize that. I I, I think that my Saggies met someone new. And you're happy. And you're giving this other person time. But there's quite the connection from the past. And that door needs to be shut properly. It, it truly does. Okay. It looks like there was some type of, that just got wiped out. Some type of third party. Something for sure. Venus. Venus and Sag, please. Venus and Sag. There are lessons. Lessons. Okay. Guilt. Someone's someone's feeling guilty or you're feeling guilty. It's like that's just it. It's what it's what you're holding on to. It's like I feel like my feminine is like holding on to a little bit of a grudge, even though you move forward. It's like you still don't want to address something, even though there's a connection. But maybe that's part of your karma. You're scared. You don't want to address it. You might get feelings back. It is something, okay? But it's like your soul is not really growing. And whatever this is, is stressing you out. And this karma needs to be confronted. Even if you're with someone new, a conversation about what happened in the past, the door needs to be shut, okay? And then you can go and have your new, okay? So, or this is the same person coming in new. However, this resonates with you, okay? So let's find out. Let's find out what's next now until May 20th. Let's, let's find out what's next. Pay attention to your health, please. But to me, that's that's talking stress. All right, but it's like, it's, both these cards talk about your soul, okay? And it's like, you is what's most important, you know? Um, what's next? To a fire, all right? Coming into your own, a new partnership or a contract. Continue to move forward. So... The bottom of the deck, six of fire. Some of you in the public eye too. But um, it's either going to be this old person you're going to get into this relationship with. Like I said, like you could even possibly get engaged. That might be a cultural difference too. Or it's someone new. All right. Either way, if it's the old and you work it out and this was all common, this all went down and now it's back around, you can work it out. Okay. Or you legitimately met someone new. Okay, and you're going in a new direction, and it's saying continue to move forward. But the fact that it's saying continue to move forward, I feel like this is with that same person. But not for all of you. Some of you, it is brand new. Okay? I love you guys. Hang in there. Bye.